so <laughs> my con story uh, that is that was way when i just started living alone in nairobi and stuff and i went house hunting then i saw these things you know the way they are all over the walls you see a house agent house here and there so i see about a house in langata it was a seven quarter an sq yeah or a single i can't remember for seven five so that was really good because i was thinking about going to buru but the houses were way more expensive but then i hadn't known that the trick is always that the price always looks too good to be true anyway so i call this guy i meet him over two weeks like the house is here i cannot give you the key i can't let you see it until you pay me the deposit for the first month and you give me it's called pesa macho i think you you owe them like two five for showing you the house or where it is or giving you the key so okay like cool i was still fresh in nairobi well not fresh in nairobi but fresh in living alone you know i things bad things hadn't happened enough to me for me to be smart so i pay the guy rent first month and deposit he gives me the key i go to the house i check it out it's nice a little dirty i call up my friend so see tomorrow we're coming to clean up as we move in yeah yeah cool the truck guy let me down he didn't show up i told my friend it's okay let's just go clean just in either way bro i opened the door and found a whole family living there did they move overnight did i couldn't understand so i knock and say and i opened and the key opened so i walking and I, there's a baby crying on the floor and hi uh, i think nipo che apa kuko na sq ingine ask they say no apana this is the only sq around here then i explained to them my story I said ai actually koniwa niko lizela kini kwani nini when did you move in say us we've always lived here so i up to now i've never understood whether they worked with a con artist or they traveled but then a con artist for 25 i don't think you're going to afford to get a whole truck and clean out a house and make it dirty to con somebody and then bring that stuff back in you know yeah. i tried to call him and see what's up you know what happened you lied to me i tried to go to the place he never answered my calls the phone went off at some point because we used to meet at some center in langata i went and tried to wait for him Three days in a row, he never showed up. I'd ask people around, do you know Nani? Do you know this guy? Like, yeah, yeah, leo to Jamwana. So you could just tell, it's a thing they do and they all know it. Yeah, that is my con story. <laughs> you guys, Janjaruka, usikoni we man. Sisa nafaa kufanya. Niambie ni ni do. Ani umetoka Nairobi gani wewe? Mimi nilifilika na ongea mamangu. Ya hizi ni bebe ufala hivyo. Hii ni Nairobi, wewe sijui mpaka iko hapa nini? Una expect nifanye nini? Itabidi nifikie kitu ni tradu. Fikirie ni fikirie ni hapa. Mbuzu tu. Mimi nataka pesa zangu. Haya tuingie basi. Watch out for Janjaruka.